record again. Um, okay, so let's talk testing. Where, where are we at in terms of like, as soon as I'm able just to invite people and get things set up, then I can start to I have a bunch of tests, you know, just start up. I got to think of the different teams and different ways to bring people together. But I think, you know, this is the beginning of, of bringing people together in a different way. Um, okay. I got to brainstorm with Lori a bit because she's got four, but she doesn't have 12, but we could sort of start a training program. They could bring eight people through a training program. And uh, I think they'd be into that. So we could do a, a weekly, a weekly thing and go through the seven step process kind of thing. Yeah. So we so, can test that, test that out before, before Luciel uses it. We could probably, well, right. we, could, we could use Luciel again um, if we wanted just to test another time with them when things are a little bit more together. What do you still have to do on the back end? Um, I haven't done anything since the test. So, I mean, for what we're talking about now, I think what we should do or what I should do here is set it up so that um, I'll set up a second instance of it so that basically Planetary Guardians has a complete platform on its own. So you will be the, you know, the main administrator for the whole thing of that of that thing, which means okay. you'll be able to uh, set up multiple teams and then assign a facilitator to each one of the teams. Um, it's going to be complicated if I if I make it so that the administrator of the whole thing can also be a facilitator. That's kind of annoying. Could we, I, I mean, I could have a separate email and come in differently. That would work. Yeah. Why do we do that? Okay. Yeah, because it's just a lot of extra stuff that has to go into that if I'm going to do double and... Okay. No, I'll, I'll set up a, another account or... Okay. So, yeah, you'll be the the, the Planetary Guardians admin. Um, I'll try to set up as much of this tomorrow as I can, but it's getting close. Like, I mean, you, you already saw, you can manage your team members and you see your facilitator thing. That's mostly done. I just yeah. need to finish it up. There'll be something like that for the, the admin as well, a different looking thing. Yeah. Uh, I, ha I haven't designed that yet, but that'll probably take a bit of time. Um, as far as the actual discussion platform, I think it was basically working the way we thought of it, right? It was, yeah. I don't think there was any errors or anything except for the one guy not being able to get in, but that was my fault. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I was so, it was so late for me. I don't really remember uh, like the, the feedback that we were getting and what you were saying either. I think the feedback was there the, in the timing in terms of the, like if we set it up so you can go for 30 minutes or 60 minutes, but let's say you could also, let's say, put it, put the timer for a month. So right, have it open. It would be open, and that, and then if if we could, could we embed? Because if we're going to have these multiple chat rooms, then we want to be able to embed it in the in the website, right? Right. Okay. So, so if you could, if you, then then we could move between the chats and be able to see them, kind of thing, from a a learning point of view. And also, you had to save it as a PDF, as the end result. Right. And sort of like have the PDF so that all the ideas that got sort of put to the top is sort of like the main thing that comes out of it, I think. Yeah. Um, that seemed to be the main thing. What else was. Uh... And I guess something to do like the points, like I, I got that. I saw that the points were adding up as, as, as people were getting supported. Like how do, how do we kind of like create a point for out of the whole conversation. Yeah, I mean, the way I have it right now, um, let me just find my piece of paper here. Um, oh, here we are. So I just kind of whipped this together, but what I had right now is each time someone posts a message, uh, they gain two points. Okay. The group And the group gains one point. <clears throat> um, every time someone clicks support on, on someone's message, uh, that person that, that sent the message uh, gains five points, and the person who supported them gains three points just for being a supportive person. Okay. And at that point, if if enough people have already supported it, um, that it becomes you know fully supported, whatever we're going to call that, 
And did you um, have a, t a toggle that would have how many supports you need to kind of go to the bottom? No, right, right. I need the toggle. Yeah, basically all the different interactions, they end up giving personal points and group points. And we would probably still need to work out how the values of that, but that's the idea at least. And perhaps at some point that will matter, but it's just kind of like a built in incentive for people to, to participate more. And then when you when you load it up as a facilitator after one of these things has happened from then on, you'll see in your team members how many personal points, how many things they've supported, how many, you know, oh. that kind of breaks breaks okay. down. That'll already happen. Okay. So so that creates yeah. the game in a sense of uh... yeah the facilitator can kind of see you know what what which of the team members has been participating the most and also which of the team members has the most things supported like is being I, supported I, the most i think i think we should raise i think if you're posting a message in two and supporting is five there's not enough distinction like i could i could post 10 messages get no support and get 20 points but someone who just posts one like the, whoever gets supported should be like it should be like maybe even 20 points or 10 points kind of thing well no oh well, yeah because if they get supported they get five points but if they are as if, if a bunch of people support the same thought that that thought gets super supported and that person gets 50 points right there okay i got you yeah, yeah. and also all the people that supported it get a few extra points as well but yeah we we can you know kind of work over the numbers um Ultimately, maybe it would be good again to have those as toggles for like the actual like admin level of the whole thing for for each group, so they can kind of control the way the points work in their organization. Yeah, you know. Um, is, I, there any, is there any other way to score points? Uh, maybe the facilitator who facilitates it gets the total amount of group, like the total points in in the in the meeting. Maybe they get. Um, no, because. Well, their group gets points, so the facilitator represents their group. You know, if you want to see as the as the leader, you know, if you want to see what groups are doing better and stuff, that's available as well. Yeah, but I think like different groups will get different points, but if whatever the facilitator is, they get a, a point score for each group that they do. Maybe, yeah. I mean, that that comes back to the question of like, are the facilitators is it does it matter if they get points does it matter if they're are there's their stuff is supported or not like how much how much of a participant are they in the in the regular process as a member and well i'm just can, thinking like you know. like at the like let's say there's a 200 point uh meeting and that that goes at, that's actually the facilitator's score so they just get it by having a meeting well, they have a meeting and whatever, yeah, whatever is the group score, whatever is that score, they get, that's how, that's how facilitators, like there's 12 facilitators. And let's say every week, one facilitator is getting 500 points and another one's getting 100, nothing's getting supported kind of thing. Or, you know what I mean? Like, uh, oh, okay. Well, they would, maybe they just get like a portion of the group points or they just get the group points because the group points will, will, they will be much higher if things are supported. Right. That's kind of where it shows. Okay. Yeah. The facilitator gets the group point score. Like, I just think the facilitator should have their own unique score from the experience. Yeah. I mean, they could have, they could be the group kind of thing, like get, get all the points the group gets and that would be how to track them. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying you, it already does that because the groups themselves gets points. So if you want to see which you know group is doing best, you could just look at the group points. The facilitators doesn't have to have their own points necessarily. Well, I'm just sort of like wondering, like let's say a facilitator is is facilitating three different groups actually, and over time, I'm just wondering, like, is there a way to have just a specific score that's to the individual facilitator? Because the facilitator yeah. is, is like the main focus point of the training program in a sense right like we're training the facilitator to facilitate these groups kind of thing um, yeah i mean we can definitely give them points and stuff you know yeah i i just mean like kind of like if we had a lit like somehow there's like the leaderboard and the leaderboard would be all the facilitators and then there'd be the points like how many how many groups they've done and then their total point score kind of thing oh uh, yeah sure is that possible yeah yeah. Um, okay. 
Um, yeah, so so I guess the, the game is sort of creating itself just by the nature of putting points to the basic actions. If that makes sense. I think so. Um, like trust to your, your math. I mean, to do your game. Like I'm, I'm very. I get very impressed by uh, this game you've got. Like just doing that, you're done. Like uh, yeah. a lot of math, I imagine. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of math. math. Okay, yeah. so so then I'm gonna have the ability to start groups, invite them, get their pictures in, send out the email, and set up the parameters for that particular chat, right? Like I uh, yeah, well, to choose the, the spell. Okay, well, no, what I'm trying to, or what, what I'm thinking here is you have, you will have the ability to create groups and assign a facilitator to each group. They'll get the email that says whatever you want to craft. And then normally what would happen is those facilitators would invite the members. Okay. That way, you know, in a big organization with say 140 people or a thousand people, the, the main person doesn't have to do everything. Right, right. But but yeah, at the same time, if you're using a different email and also being a facilitator, you'll you'll do that too. Okay. And then, yeah, and then the facilitator will be able to uh, create a mission uh, and then pick the three cards, uh, pick the various stuff. And the right now, what, what I've got is basically that they each week they can create one mission and that's it because it's supposed to be a seven step program. Right. They're not, I didn't set it up so they can create them ahead of time. And I think that's a good thing because okay, so once they've done the one, then they can do the next kind of thing. Yeah. yeah because yeah. especially even this Lysiel thing, right? Like each week there's going to be some stuff talked about, maybe some, maybe the video chat will be like, Oh, you know, we want to focus more on this, blah, blah, blah. So each week I think they should reflect on what happened and create a new one, not just create seven weeks ahead of time and assume that nothing needs to change. Okay. So, yeah, so you'll always be able to create the next mission. Okay, yeah, next step. I like that. Or yeah, next mission step, sorry. Um, yeah, and I guess the other thing, so, so okay, we're thinking like some of these mission steps, uh, discussions should be timed and some of them should not. They should be just open for the whole week, for example, or something like that. Well, I think, I mean, within the timer, like I remember on one of the things that you there, there was a bit of days and hours. And it's kind of like if there was a multiple of what you were able to, to assign it as, right? So, right? Um, yeah, I guess it just, it, it, the, the behavior of the, the platform will change a little bit based on if it's a timed thing or not. Because for example, in a timed thing, um, the supporting, you get an extra support back every few minutes. And, you know, there's a time limit to when you can support something before it's, you know, 10 minutes ago, you can't just scroll way up 10 minutes later and, and say, oh, I'm gonna actually support that now. It's supposed to be like, you're kind of in the moment and everyone's supporting stuff in the, in, within a minute or two, if they like it or not, Oh, you know, something like that. And again, the numbers we could change, but it's totally different uh, setup if we open it to, you know, multiple days, for example, it's just sitting there always open because most right. of the time there's only going to be one person online. Right. So it, it really changes it into a forum. Right. So now they can come in and support some stuff that they want, say three things and no one else is talking to them because there's no one else there. So, so there's sort of like two different chat rooms, one where it's open-ended and one that's time. Yeah, like where did you get the idea that we should have and one that's not timed? Is that you that or is Lysiel? That was Lysiel. Damn, because honestly, that's not very helpful. <laughs> like they already have that. It's just a regular discussion forum at that point. Right. It's not going to do anything fancy because, you know, uh, we can we can have the supporting thing still there, but it's basically just going to be this open room that people can come in and talk to, but there's no one there to talk to them. It's kind of the point of not having that. Right. That makes this powerful. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Well, how about how about for now? Let's do it for the time run. And then if there's a if it really five minutes, then we can we can add that in maybe. That... Yeah, I mean we can do it. It's just yeah. Like 
I guess some of the stuff was like coming back to the reason I created the think tank thing is because, you know, most things on the internet, people are used to forums, they're used to like blogs and stuff like that, where you can say what you want. And then maybe three days later or three hours later, someone will say something back, but it's generally not an open chat. And then there's chat rooms on the internet that are already there. People are used to that. It's a bunch of people talking, mostly emoticons and stupid messages. And there's usually, you know, different people on every time you go. And it's kind of a, it's not really, they're not really usually very focused or useful as far as they're just kind of like a social thing. Right. So what I think our niche, our, you know, our strength could be this new niche that we're trying to create is like structured discussions where it's not a forum and it's not a chat room. It's a new thing. And I think if we could create a new thing, right, that's pretty big. Because otherwise, we're just creating another chat room or another forum. Right. You know? Well, I so think, I think that, yeah. yeah, I mean, definitely having step by step, having the goal, have, like all the parts we have, I, I don't see any that in your discussion anyway. But we, no. we've got enough, I think, for the three of us. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, as long as we keep that focused on doing something unique, then it's good. But if we have, so I'm just saying, yeah, we can do an open-ended one with no time limit or, or, you know, a time limit of a week or a month. We just, I think we just need to figure out a way to do that in a unique way. Otherwise we really are just providing a regular form in the end. Okay. And then it's just, it's not going to stand out. And even if it does, it's, it's, you know, it's been created a thousand times already. Okay. Well, let me, let me maybe chat with them about it for now. Let's not do it. Let's let's focus on getting the one thing ready and we're working. Yeah, yeah. I think if you can focus their their conversation, I would even pitch pitch to them if I were you like you guys already have the Imaginal Collective forum discussions. That's what you should be focusing on as far as people talking open ended and, and ongoing. We're trying to create a, a, a you know a systematic mission driven, you know thing similar to the the group calls where they happen once a week or something it's a limited amount of time a lot gets done and then people can come back the next week and yeah they're more yeah you know what i'm trying to say right like yeah i think i think if we kind of pitch our idea more and steer them away from the open-ended thing because they already have that and they'll figure out they already have that eventually and imaginal collective will be hey we already have that why are these guys making one now you know they, they want their stuff to be used and right now no one's using it so no. I think I think they need to use it. So, to asking us to provide the same thing again is is I think they're missing the point. Okay. And then and then we can just focus on the thing we've already created and really, you know, we can add more things to it. Like the support thing is kind of a unique thing. We can add more things to make this useful for them, because in the end, it's not supposed to be just a chat. It's just supposed to amount to something. That's why, you know, the messages that end up being supported are going to be headlined, you know, we can create other mechanics so that perhaps in the next mission step, those highlighted thoughts are already in there, you know, as, oh yeah, this is the main points we hit last week or the main things that people wanted to, to see or to say. And, and so, and then to drive mechanics that way in through the mission steps, I think would be a unique thing. Okay. Maybe not even just like more than one way to like, that's one example, but to, yeah like i think if we can think of more unique things like that that will like, really think, make it stand out well i think what i get is i mean you know they have the hour and a half call they're doing that daily stuff but i guess yeah because they're not using discussion boards they're not they're not really like they i guess they want you know some open end thing where people can come in and discuss but i get you yeah they're, it's a very different discussion it's very slow and yeah. Well, not, not only that, but the Imaginal Collective has already created that for them. And they're probably yeah. frustrated that no one's using it. So I think it would be in our best interest to promote that as, as what it is. And hey, you guys have a great discussion platform. Use that. We're providing this other thing. Right. You know? And that way, you know, because down the road, yeah, we want to take this entire technology. And for, for example, when I build this back end for, for you, for Planetary Guardians, that's a whole system there. And then the CL will get a copy of that. It will be, um, you know, whoever's on top, who wants to manage it, Sophie or, or uh, whoever, and then they'll have a whole system. And so that we'll have this 
we'll have the software system that we can roll out to other places. Yeah. And it will, you know, yeah, we're getting close to that, which I yeah. think is pretty big. Well, and that's, that's the building of a shared knowledge community, right? Like we'll be able to take 144 people and take them through processes within these rooms to, to build yeah. an economic system. Yes. And I think that's one use. Another use is to provide this as a software platform for sale to corporations and organizations. Anyone wants to pay us to use it and we don't even know what they're doing. Yeah. They can have their discussions and chat rooms and everything. And uh, yeah, like that's the other. And then we take that money and spend it on the shared knowledge community, creating a new economic paradigm and giving this for free to, and, you know, improving it for free for all the, the nonprofits and stuff or whoever we like, basically. Well, I'm you know. thinking, I mean, we could probably on April 20th, uh, Earth Day there. Uh, oh, no, maybe that's April 21st is Earth Day. April 20th is definitely 420 day. I don't think it's the same day. No, but when's Earth Day? Uh, maybe it is the 21st. Actually, I can't remember. Well, it's Earth Hour, technically. Okay, because so. because the uh, Unify is doing a, a broadcast for the for the old growth forest at Last Stand, and so you know, Unify's got a million people right in there. Well, looks like it's the 22nd. I mean. So you're thinking we could pitch it to them before that? Well, I'm just thinking maybe like I'm just thinking that maybe there's some let me just see what this is. Maybe there's some way to sort of go from there into a next step of bring people into the, the chat. I mean, I, I don't think our platform's ready for <laughs> a million people or anything close to that. And because the, I mean, the main problem right now would be that everyone has to send out, they have to add all the members and get an email, right? Yeah. The other part of what I think we're building is like, A, we're building the thing that we can sell to corporations and we can use the same thing for our organizations and et cetera. But the second thing we could build out of this is something where it's a different structure where no one has to be facilitators exactly, or the facilitators are self-appointed. And anyway, I'm saying that you could we could put this on a website somewhere, call it whatever we want, disconnected or connected to our stuff. And people could just go there and create a free account and be part of the thing. And then that way, the real action starts to happen because, yeah, the internet has millions of people, billions technically. What you know, what would happen if 10,000 people signed up for that and started talking? The, the way that I believe we can we can create this, this discussion platform is that it can handle 10,000 people in the same room. That's the whole point of what I created before with the think tank is that's what we're missing on this planet is a mass communication technology where it's structured so that, and I have a whole system on how to do that, that we can discuss, but basically it's, it involves the supporting and other things, other mechanisms that allow people to talk all at the same time, 10,000 people, and also actually build towards something useful. Right. Yeah, no, it's great if we could link this into the think tank. Like these are you know, like steps towards that, right? Like, yeah, um, that's what I'm really excited about as well. Yeah, let's you know, do that for sure. Because um, if we have a technology like that, if if the world had a technology like that, even if whoever built it, it will change it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the last stand is on the 22nd, so we can still do that 21st. But okay. Yeah, I'll need to. I got to think about some things. I also like the harmony wheel and the inflow matrix is kind of the same as the, as the, the um, teams in OCL, but, it, it, but it's, it's like, you know, they have their teams and then the harmony wheel has law and science and it's, it's more general. Yep. And so I should probably build, I should probably create those team titles, right? Yeah. And send them. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Cause if you do that, um, because I'm, I guarantee you, Lissiel will be extremely excited that they log in as the administrator and see a wheel with all their 12 groups on it. And they can click on them and go into that group and, you know, start start a system like that that they can see visually and click on and stuff. I already, that's I already built that wheel. Well, then that's, okay. then yeah, just get, put their, their names on it and for, for this time at least and, and keep the other wheel, obviously, for us. But yeah, put the list L wheel up and then yeah. I'll make that. So that's the first thing that they see when the administrator logs in. 
Nice. And they will be like, oh, this is us. You know, this is built customized for us. And, it, you know, and they can click on one of the 12 circles and it, you know, will make it all fancy eventually. Yeah. So it zooms out and they got that group. They can see the facilitator, the members, you know, and start to build a system like that. That's the second thing that they need, I think. Okay. You know, well, I already got a start on that. So I'll do that tonight. I'll finish that tonight. So you got cool. it more. Awesome. All right. Well, I got to get going anyway here. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you're working tomorrow on that. I'll be around uh, if you need to check in and if you need me to build anything, um, I shall do it. Awesome. Okay. So by the end of tomorrow, we'll be ready to go kind of thing almost. Um, I think I should probably be able to get most or maybe all of it done. Yeah. I'm not hundred percent sure yet, but I know I have time tomorrow to do this. Okay. So awesome. I will check in with you at some point and tell you what I've done. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome, brother. How do you do?